1.21.5 Forge is super easy to install and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to install Forge is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge. If you were to get lost at any moment of this video, go back to that second link and read through this guide so you could easily know what to do. But if you want to follow along the video, just go down to quick navigation, click a step one and then click the Forge button. That is going to redirect you to the Forge official site where we're going to select 1.21.5 as our desired forge. Once you have it in here, click on installer, which is going to redirect you to this page where you're going to wait five seconds and then you're going to click the button on the top right. Do not click anything else in here. These are just ads. Now, after five seconds, we're going to hit a skip and then download for forge will begin right away. After you download the forge installer, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like so. Now with the forge installer file in our desktop, you will notice that this is a jar file. And as you can see, mine doesn't even have an icon, which means that I'm not going to be able to open the Forge installer because I'm missing a crucial component. That crucial component is Java 21. This is not optional. This is a requirement. You will need Java 21 in order to install any mod for Minecraft 1.20.4 and above. OK, which includes Minecraft 1.21.5. Now, if you already have Java 21, skip this step. If you don't, click on the link in the description that says Java 21. Scroll down, you could read through the guide, but if you want, you can just click on the button in here that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to select Windows and then choose the x64 installer. Make sure that you're on Java 21 and then click on this button in here, the one in the middle, and that is going to begin the download right away for the Java installer. What we're going to do next is drag and drop that Java installer into our desktop. You can find it here on your recent download history or probably on the downloads folder of your system. Once you have Java 21 in your desktop, go ahead and double click on it. That will most likely prompt you with an admin sign. Go ahead and allow this app to run and then you'll get the installer. Go ahead and hit next, next, and then wait for Java 21 to install. And while we wait for Java, if you need a Minecraft server, click on the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will not only let you create servers all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging, but they actually support over 200 mod packs, as well as individual mods. Of course, if you want to run a server for Forge, you're more than welcome to. Now, the cool thing is that you could install all these mod packs with just a click of a button. Now, something crazy that Apex Hosting is offering right now is 40% off your first invoice. If you click that first link in the description, you'll get 40% off with Apex Hosting, biggest discount they have ever offered for anybody. So go ahead and use that first link in the description and get 40% off with Apex Hosting. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, as we can see, Java has been installed. Let's go ahead and close it. And now we could even delete the Java installer from our desktop because we don't need it anymore. Now we have Forge left over here. And before we go ahead and launch Forge, we have to make sure that we have played Minecraft 1.21.5 at least once in our computer. You don't have to play a world or anything like that. Just go ahead and play the game once. And once it opens, you could close it out. Now with Minecraft completely closed, it's time to install Forge. Simply double click on it and the installer should open if you install Java 21. Of course, there we go. We get the installer open. Now what you're going to do in here is select install client and then hit OK and wait for Forge to install. Once Forge has been installed, you'll get this prompt in here. Go ahead and hit OK and you can now delete this text file as well as the installer of Forge. Now go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. If you install Forge properly, you should see Forge selected automatically down here in this arrow. As you can see, we have Forge 1.21.5. You could also head over to installations. Make sure that you have modded selected because without modded, you simply won't see Forge in here. If that doesn't fix it for you, you could click on new installation, head over to version and type Forge and then select Forge 1.21.5. Name it whatever you want and then click create here or install down here on the bottom right. Now we have Forge. How do you add mods to Forge? You might ask. Adding mods to Forge is extremely easy. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on this folder that appears when you hover over Forge in the installations tab. Go ahead and open that installations folder and that is going to open a bigger folder that has a lot of files as well as a couple of folders. Now in here, we're looking for a specific folder called mods. And as you can see, I don't have a mods folder, which is totally okay. If you don't have a mods folder, just like I don't, go ahead and click on new, click folder and name that folder mods, M-O-D-S. Once you have that mods folder, go ahead and open it. In here, you're going to add any mods that you want to use with your Forge instance. A popular website for downloading mods is CurseForge as well as ModRint. And I'm going to go ahead and download one mod from CurseForge so I could try it. Make sure whenever you download a mod that it matches your game version, which in this case is 1.21.5, and that it also matches your mod loader, which in this case is Forge. So whenever you find the mod that you want, go ahead and click on the three dots if you're using CurseForge and click download file 
and wait five seconds for that mod to download. If you want to download the same mod as me, you'll find Journey Map linked in the description of this video. Now, once you have downloaded your mod, you'll find it here on your recent download history. Go ahead and drag and drop it into the mods folder that we had created earlier. You should see a mod appearing here that has this icon, which means that Java has been installed properly. If you're not sure if this is a jar file, you could click on view, show, and then make sure that you're seeing the file name extensions to make sure this is a jar file. Now, once you have your mods in here, you could go back into your Minecraft launcher and then hit play on Forge to test out your mods. Look out for any error that you might get because if that mod has another dependency, meaning that it needs other mods for it to work, Forge will let you know once you try to launch it. Let's go ahead and hit play. You might get this prompting here, click understand the risk. And if you don't know what this is, you could click about more player safety features and then hit play one more time. Now, once the game opens, we know that we're in Forge because it literally says mods in here as well as Forge down here. Let's go ahead and test our mod that we just added. If we click in here, we could see the mod that we added, but I'm still going to launch a world to see my mod working in my world. Now, something cool about Journey Map is that you could use it on a single player world as well as on a multiplayer world because it's a client side mod, meaning that it will work on a server. And again, if you need a server, Use the first link in the description to get 40% off with Apex Hosting. Now that we're here on the world, we can see that Journey Map is working. And if we press J on our keyboard, we could actually see the Journey Map menu in here. And as you can see, you have a bunch of other options that you could use with Journey Map to be able to customize it as you like. And if you were able to install Forge 1.21.5, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.